Yes, that's very exciting for me actually. Um, we have been working with Graf Anunza for this past year to translate um, this cookbook, Natulish Koshin, which in New Zealand is called The Free Range Cook. And um, it's been very successful in New Zealand and Australia. And um, this week also it was launching in Poland and it's launched in France and Holland and various other places. And it goes with a television series which was on here on RTL Living and has gone to 83 countries. So it's been exciting. I think I'm interested in making or helping people to feel confident. So I will make a recipe as simple as I can and demystify it or, or explain to people why it works in a way. Because often when you don't know, it's a bit like learning to ride a bike. You know, if you have never ridden a bike before, then you don't know that how to get from one side of town to the other. And if you have never cooked before, you don't know what is going to happen. And when you write a recipe, I feel my job is to make it from the set of ingredients to the finished dish as the easiest roadmap possible so that you don't get lost and you don't fail. Because when you fail, you don't think, well, that's a lousy cookbook. You feel personally that you've failed and you lose confidence. So I sort of figure my job is if I can encourage people to cook and they can be confident about cooking, it's such an easy way to have a good life because you just have a really nice life around the table. and you. You know, you can have a very tough job, but you can always come home and make this little time every day to have a special space around the table. I think it's, um, I think there's a lot of um, commonality between Germany and New Zealand, not just from the point of view of the kitchen, but in the point of view of everybody has such busy lives. And so it's very easy to, to say, I haven't got time to cook. And this is the same in New Zealand. You would think maybe not because there seem to be not so many people and it seems more sort of laid back. But it's, I think, the same for everywhere in the Western world now. People are under so much pressure. And I suppose in my own life as a busy working mother, I wanted to turn it on its head and say, OK, okay this can be your half an hour a day that's your time. And it's not about being a chef where you're having to do performance food. It's about home. And it's about home cooking is about being resourceful and about... Um, feeling you know that you're nourishing and caring and kind of sharing with your family and friends around the table so you can be helping your kids with their homework and you can be having a glass of wine and you're not having to do anything tricky when you're cooking at home it's often you're chopping something up or simmering something or something's in the oven you know it doesn't require your full attention so I think that it's the same in Germany and everybody is wanting a simpler life and I think, I, I don't know, do you think this as well, that even here in Germany, everybody is seeking to have a simpler rhythm and, and feel a sense of connectedness and rhythm. And I think that when I go to my garden in Wanaka, this is what it gives me because there is no supermarket. I just have to go to my garden and whatever there is in the garden is what we have for dinner. And so you learn to be quite a resourceful cook and you learn to understand within any one recipe, what is the thing you need to know? Like if it's a piece of fish, that it will only take eight minutes in a hot oven. Or if it's some chicken, you need to make sure it's properly cooked because it could give you food poisoning. And here's how you tell, you know. Once you know those things, then you can change the flavors very easily. And I think this is an interesting thing for us in New Zealand, is that we have this global pantry at our fingertips so that you, you can get any kind of flavoring from anywhere in the world at the supermarket. And this makes it very interesting because, you know, I can go to the supermarket and I can get pomegranate molasses and I can get wasabi and I can get uh, balsamic glaze and I can get saffron and I can get Israeli couscous. And so it means that my everyday cooking can be so much more interesting. I don't have to go to lots and lots of specialty shops. I can just have all the stuff in my pantry and it becomes the sort of these different flavor ways that you can make interesting food. So Johan Lafa invited us for the, uh, the weekend to his castle and cooked us delicious food and hosted us in his, you know, a nice place to stay. And so we started to see some of the countryside and all of the grapes are changing colour. It's beautiful, actually. I've never had the chance before. Every time I've come to Frankfurt, I just go in and out. And this time I've had a chance to be in the countryside a bit more. Even coming to Hamburg, I've never been to Hamburg. And I've been, yeah, it's so beautiful. It's really a beautiful city. 
you see, I quite like the real German food because I love Kartoffeln. <laughs> And I like Wiener Schnitzel, and I very much like that particularly naughty thing that you get, which is a whole pork cock. <laughs> Nobody would believe it, but I can be very greedy. <laughs> and I had this raspberry torte. Um, I went to a marvellous hairdresser in uh, Frankfurt. I can't remember his name, but he had this very quirky individual shop. And, and um, you know, he bought me a lovely cup of tea and this beautiful raspberry cake that was just the light. You know, normally I don't eat many sweets and it was 11 o'clock in the morning and I thought, I'm not going to eat that and then I thought I'd just have a taste and it was so good. You have an amazing pastry kitchen here. Yeah, sure. And bread, but I'm trying not to eat bread. <laughs>